Please welcome the next belt of the evening in the blue corner, Brian Shanes. When it all goes up in flames, you'll be the last one standing. Yeah. When the cold ice melts away, you'll be the last one standing. When the smoke drowns out the day, you'll be the last one standing. When it all goes up in flames, I'll be the last one standing. Yeah. Yeah. Out from the middle of the map, the limit of attack. Nice double. 
Nice double leg there. George Reed. Yeah, George Reed with the double leg. Let's Sh he's telling Shane to get up, Shane's. I'm not real familiar with Shane's. Uh, I know they said House of Pain in Illinois, but that's I'm, I'm not real familiar with that gym. He's looking confident. Nice spin nice kick. Nice little spin body. kick. McVickers of you know a very established jiu-jitsu school. So looks like it looks like uh, Reed is trying to uh, to walk him into some kicks. Shoots a nice little single there. He's got some good wrestling. That's the that's the second time he shot in, had success. He's got Shane's trapped up against the cage now. Looks like he may be trying for an arm and guillotine. I can't really tell from this angle. He's got good hip pressure. Looks like he's gonna step over the top. Shane needs to get out of there. He could be in some trouble here. No. Nope. George Reed gives it up. Oh, just to blast him again. Nice. I think Shane's is kind of being a little whiny here. Um, put your mouthpiece in a fight, man. It's yeah. It's, um, you know, just don't feed into the to the antics. I, I see what Reed's doing, and a lot of guys do it and have success with it. Wants to make Shane's mad and overcommit. It seems to be getting in his head. You know, and when you're not when you're when you're not punching to the face, it's it's easier to do that. You know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was almost right on the chin. Yeah, it could have been bad. At an amateur pancreation level, I don't think there's really no need for the the horse and pony show, but nonetheless, I mean, the guys are in there having fun, so it's a lot easier to be cocky when you're going to hit in the face, too. That was a nice inside leg kick. You know, if he can if he can throw those in, that's going to affect him. He might affect set, his movement. Yeah, he might want to set that up, though. That looked to be a lot of foot. Looks like Shane's wanting to work that in a little more. Reed with the single again. Nice single, nice pressure. Seen quite a few amateurs tonight not setting up their leg kicks. Um, I don't know, you know, if it's nerves or what, but you can't just lead with a leg kick. That's just a terrible idea, you know. Throw a jab or something, get in, and then throw it. Reed with good top pressure here. Working the body of Shane's on the bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, speed drop nickel. This pancreation bout come to an end at the end of round number one, declaring your winner by failure to answer the bell in the red corner, George Reed. George Reed, I want to talk to you for a moment. I remember hearing that you took this fight on short notice, is that correct? Oh yeah, I found out yesterday that I was fighting, so... Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for George for stepping up and saving this fight. Well, George, you came in here, you did your thing there. You had a little bit of showboating going on in the first round. But other than that, how do you feel about your performance? Well, I mean, he got mad, but I'm only 17, so if you want to get mad, I don't care. I mean, if you want to fight next time when I'm 18, we can do it. How would you like to see that, Sullivan, on another fight, rematch, full MMA fight? Sounds like the crowd's into it. Josh Griggs, what do you think about that? Thumbs up from the boss there. Yeah, who would you like to think of you? Uh, I'd like to thank my parents and all my teammates and my coach, Jack McVicker. And I'm um, about that fight. It's going to be the same result. So. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, George Reed.